presented on ESPN by Capital One. Matches 11 seed San Diego State and 6 seed Texas. All right, start to finish, 40 minutes. We are prepared. Our pre-conference got us ready for this. Our conference got us ready for this. There's nothing we have not seen. We are ready for this moment. We are ready for this day. We're ready for this game. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Coach Guest, of course, calls it a Texas two-step. You win two games this weekend and move on to Memphis. San Diego State first up, West Virginia and Lamar to follow. In a Morris, in her NCAA tournament debut last season, she scored 35 points to lead her team to an upset win over DePaul. And for the Longhorns, no other than Brittany Raven. Coach Guest, of course, calls her the energizer bunny because defensively, she never stops working. And on Davis, Coco Davis, Janae Morris, Jessica Bradley, and Paris Johnson. Two wins on the season. It's Ashley Fawnett, Brittany Raven, Kathleen Nash, Ernicia Williams, and Ashley Gale. Fifth season in her second stint as San Diego State head coach. She is the winningest coach in Aztec program history. Gale get <laughs> Ashley Gale gets the stick back. Keep an eye on number five in black, Janae Morse. She screams here and wants it back from her teammate Quinice Davis instead into Jessica Bradley. And boy, is that going to be a battle in the paint all night between Gail and Bradley. Gail is quite the shot blocker there. Bradley got one up on her. Gail turns it over to Aztec defenders create the turnover. Quinice Davis gives it up. Horse whips it underneath. Contact play on. Aztecs get it back. See Davis there, the senior is going to pull it out, slow things down a little bit. It's been quite the pace from the tip. Five to shoot, Coco Davis misses. Aztecs crashing the offensive glass to give Paris Johnson a chance, and she is fouled. Longhorn's first loss was to this Aztec team in San Diego. And it was really a defining game for both of these programs, but in different ways. Texas was coming off an 11-game winning streak. It was ranked number four. Back to the other end for Harris Johnson, spinning the tie of things defensively and offensively. I like Raven posting up quite a bit already on offense in this game. That's something you don't maybe see her do as much this early. Williams misses a three, but a second chance. Ashley to Colton Brown took his jersey number, but that inspired her to do the same. He's on the Texas men's team, and the later one goes, Dal Bay went down. Gary Johnson changed his number, so not even four minutes in. Get on the post against Kathleen Nash, and a good pass across for Paris Johnson. Has six turnovers in the first five minutes. Janae Morris stopped by Kathleen Nash. So Quinice Davis steps out for the three. A court sets. Again, they like to get into transition. Boy, has Reed really come along as the season has gone on. She did a lot of extra workouts throughout the season. To get it. Yeah, it looked like Brittany Raven had a contact issue. Coco Davis floater over Coco. Second chance, Janae Moore. Fontenet late. A better execution in transition. Texas into a zone in the half court. Aztecs for two. Johnson, shot clock winding down. Coco Davis drains the triple. And Davis again. Back to back triples from Coco Davis. Duffy into the corner. Morris triple. Another. Three Morris somehow makes the grab around a rear run. Get more movement on offense. I think they've got to move the ball around just a little bit. And the foul after the main three in transition from Janae Morris. This is in Austin. Well, Carter, you talked about the confidence. Once you beat a team once, Dash gives Texas a much needed bucket. Morris answers with another triple. 14 for Janae Morris. Chambers. Davis with the left. Led by as many as 19 in the first half. Janae Morris, who catches in the corner there, gives it up to Allison Duffy for the triple. Coming up on the game. She knows what's expected. Davis hounding it on Anderson. Williams makes the catch. Misses the shot. 
Now he's hitting to Trey Wingo for the Home Depot halftime report. Trey had not had an opportunity during Morris, and then he is 19. 12 point edge right now. But East Davis, nice crossover. Gets her own rebound. Right down in the paint, right around the basket. It was pretty intense. I'll tell you, as a player, I can remember those two days, the individuals in the day, the team workout. Williams gets both free throws, but Janae Morris, like she has been all night, like she has been in the NCAA tournament a year ago, like she was against Texas in the regular season, has been the Johnson enters it to Morris. Foul 349 career steals. Raven misses the layup for Texas. Morris misses in tight. They say the defense and rebounding wins championship. An awful lot of opportunities in tight as well. To transition. San Diego State only one. A rear run misses the long two. Coco Davis rebounds it, pushing the Aztecs ahead to Morris. In transition, Morris has 24. The San Diego State lead back to double digits. Turn it over. Here's another chance for Morris in transition. Beat then number four ranked Texas in the regular season last year. 24 points and eight steals. Texas turned it. A nice hard edge out on Coco Davis on the perimeter. Aztecs with it back to the open spot. This three's it up for Texas. Finds Cat Nash in transition. Covered up. So on to Reed. Missed the long two. There's Janae Morris with the rebound. Great. Great defense. Great the wind out of your sails, you know, for a team. And so. Raven and, and, and Ernie Williams as the seniors of this squad. Duffy on the baseline, rips it out. Coco Davis triple. Battle for the... So far, only Vermont has pulled off an upset in the 2000s. For Texas, Coach Gesson course going back to that theory. Seniors either get tight or they fight it. Raven looks like she's still playing a little tight. Another missed layup from Brittany Raven in Texas. The frustration, Mauricio Williams is only one for six. A rear run is one for four. So from the critical seniors for Texas, that's only four made field goals in the game. Morris draws a foul before the women's team winning the Mountain West Conference Championship and then the men's team right after that on the same floor in Las Vegas won the men's championship. One of one Today, and Kat Nash there with a, with a miss, but they have... After a 13-year absence from the NCAA tournament, San Diego State back at the field a year ago. They knocked off 7 seed DePaul. Now, in 2010, they're an 11 seed playing 6 seed Texas, and it has been the Aztecs dominated almost from the start. A 19-point lead in the first half. They led by 14 at the break, and now San Diego State trying to join Vermont as the only upsets in this year's women's championship. They have won the battle on the board. Take advantage of the fact that Janae Morris is, is on the bench. They've got to get it into Ashley Gale. Back out, Brittany, to see that. Harris Johnson steps through, can't finish. Williams. The seven point edge. Carter Blackburn with a China Rock. That for San Diego State. And you could see there, Carter, look at that graphic. I mean, you had the guard play for both those state, a 17-point differential there between the guard point production for these two teams. Pokey Reed throws. Knowing that you don't want to foul her, but I don't think. Was yesterday after watching the men's tournament, the women's tournament, she was ready to be a part of March Madness. And with Davis gets some. That's going to have to hurry a little bit here. Caught net blocked by Bradley. Morris is there. But she throws. Look at the three. Double D. A rear on open here for a shot. Vaughn net kicks out into the corner. Cat Nash for three. Another air ball. In the season, one for seven tonight. Sandy, a rear run guarded by Morris, strips. Janae Morris has done it on the offensive end for San Diego State, gets a critical turnover. Tech, tonight's player of the game brought to you by Coke Zero, not a Huge win for Coach Burns for the Mountain West Conference, came in.
and defy the odds on Texas's home feed with another tremendous performance from Janae Morris. Win by San Diego State over Texas last year. Beth Burns said gave her team the confidence to know they could beat anyone, and they have come back. The second straight season, San Diego State scores an upset win in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. The Aztecs knock off the Texas Longhorns in Austin. Coach Burns and her program. Great season for the Texas Longhorns. You hate to see them seed San Diego State over Texas. This has been a pretty State upsets the six seed Texas Longhorns. Now let's send it back.